let's go ahead and jump right into it. Let's imagine we want to get, we want to extract this data into R and we want to analyze it some way, some shape or form. All right, and so you can extract it and put it into Python as well. But I mean, let's say we just, we have access to R, let's go ahead and do that. And so what we're going to do is actually utilize chat GBT for this process. Let's say, all right, I want, I'm a data scientist. I am a data scientist. And I want to extract data, extract, let's say you give the, let's give the URL actually. It's gonna do it's gonna do a good job. I already know extract. Um I want to bring in the county data from this URL into R. And this is I'm I'm it's, not, it's gonna do hundred percent great job. So um I'm gonna explain what each one of these things are what each one of these things is. Looks like it's busy. Looks like a pause. All right, so I got it to work. Sometimes, it, you know, other users are using it. And the thing that was interesting is that this is why programming, not knowing what you're doing, can lead you astray. Um, because this is actually very complicated. Um, you'd like to know what RVEST is. You'd like to know what read HTML is and things of that matter. I'm going to give it one more try. I'm gonna tell it using because I already know what the package I'm gonna use because it's actually easy. But then um R HTML tabs okay package. And I'm gonna go back to spelling it correctly. Um, at least the package or library name HTML tabs. Okay, I'm gonna miss. Uh, we'll fix that. Let's see what happens here. All right, I guess I gotta pause it again. And so that's fine. I mean, it gave me this. Um, that's fine. What we're going to go ahead and do is create a R markdown file. And of course, if you watch any of my previous files or any of, any of my previous videos, as well as um, my my class, I talk about creating an R markdown file. So you create, go to the green plus, click on R markdown. You can specify a title. Let's say it's um, um, Extracting data, extraction, extracting data. Great, fantastic. We extract it. Okay, that's the the title. We go ahead and erase all this. This is just pre code. Okay, what we're gonna do is create our chunk using command shortcut Control Alt I. Um, I'm gonna do library um, HTML. Because it's an HTML file tab, like for table. All right. So then from there, what I'm going to do is because we're not going to clean it up in this video. Well, oh, well, I'm going to clean it up, and I'm going to make this in a, clean it up in another video. But I'll still get this tidyverse, and tidyverse has all the tools that we need to be able to clean the data. Once we do that, create another R chunk, and this is where we do read or we do HTML tab. I should go ahead and just run this so I can be. We'll all be on the same page. I'm gonna get this website as it runs. It's gonna say all this junk. It doesn't that all this is telling you background information on a higher level. You would want to know what this is doing, but right now we do not. Um, we're gonna call this C A County underscore D F. I like to have a naming um, protocol when it comes to um, naming my data frames. The function is called HTML tab. This is not gonna work because it needs to be in quotations. So put this in quotations. And then I believe it's gonna be the second table. It might consider this to be a table. If, if not, we'll, we'll, we'll address. So let's run this. And we go to environment, I was correct. Okay, so it was, it is this. All right, so we're now able to bring in our California data into, at least California County data into R. Okay, so let's do that. 